Well, with Black Friday coming at us like a bank account draining sandstorm with a tinge of foretold buyer's remorse, HP and Intel wanted to ease that burden a bit and partner with me to unbox and showcase the all-new Spectre X360 14 with Intel's latest 11th gen Tiger Lake CPU that'll be on sale during Black Friday for 150 bucks off retail on all configs with this SKU. So let's rip into it, shall we? Right then, every dang time I get an HP Spectre in hand, I'm like, Jesus H. Murphy, this thing looks and feels great, which you know, says a lot because I'm not usually one to appreciate beveled and chamfered edges. I normally prefer that clean minimalist look. Uh, I picked out the Nightfall Black colorway, which is really more of a dark gunmetal. Poseidon Blue was my second choice because it's more of a super dark teal, but I really dig the copper tone accenting on the Nightfall. And since it's the little brother to the 15 inch Spectre, it's obviously smaller and lighter. So it's super duper portable, perfect for the student or business person by day slash corporate spy by night. Seriously, when you get this, it comes with a corporate spy certificate in the box. So you can get to work that night if you wanted. That's a lie, it doesn't come with a certificate. Please don't complain to HP when you can't find one. <laughs> uh, there's two Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports that support charging and external displays, a single USB Type-A, an audio combo port, and a micro SD card reader. Now, the configs will vary a little depending on where you buy yours from, but the config I was sent comes with Intel's latest 11th Gen i7 1165G7 running the new Evo platform, which claims faster charging, longer battery life, better visual processing with Intel's new XE integrated graphics, Graphics. There's also 16 gigs of RAM running at an impressive 4267 megahertz, even though the product page says 3200. So not sure what's going on there, but I don't think anyone's complaining. And finally, a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, that 13.5 inch OLED touch display has a three by two aspect ratio with a resolution of 3000 by 2000. It's got phenomenal color gamuts, really impressed with that. And it gets pretty bright too at up to 359 nits with my testing, although, the product page does claim 400, so either way, it's a sick display. And of course, since this is a two-in-one laptop, you can place the display at different angles. And because it's a multi-touch display and comes with a stylus, this could be super useful for drawing or sketching, jotting down notes and, you know, all the other stuff a stylus is used for. I'm not going to keep listing off use cases. You know what a stylus does. Uh, there's four speakers, two in my Bang & Olufsen, two on the bottom and two on top under the vent grill. Now, at first, I thought they sounded just acceptable, but after I made some adjustments in the BNO audio control app, holy smokes, dude, full rich audio with zero distortion at max volume. I like it. The white backlit keyboard's really nice. Uh, the keys have a short travel distance, but they've got a really nice tactile feel while typing. There's plenty of room on the palm rests, and I like the font. Even though the font size choice looks like it was meant for folks who need microscopes glued to their face. Uh, there's this cool webcam privacy hotkey that electronically blocks the camera's view, which is really, really neat. And then to the left of the arrow keys is a fingerprint reader for Windows Hello. The click style trackpad's large, it has great finger glide, and it's running ELAN drivers, which I haven't had any tracking issues with, so... I'm happy. Now, there isn't a whole lot you can do with the internals other than blow some air at the fans and swap out the SSD because the RAM and wireless card are soldered on. But if you do attempt to open it up, I'd recommend using extreme caution because these aren't easy to open and some of the screws are hiding underneath the rubber footing at the rear and the SSD is hiding underneath an aluminum shield with little space to pry it off. Uh, the HP Command Center has four system mode settings we've all seen in the past, but there's a new one called Smart Sense that does a fairly decent job at adjusting the fan and clock speeds based on system load. Uh, so I decided to stress test Smart Sense as well as performance mode, and what I found was that while in Smart Sense, the system ran about seven degrees cooler and about 300 megahertz slower compared to performance mode, which gave me an average clock speed of 3.9 to four gigahertz on all four cores at 77 degrees Celsius with the fans running at max and only producing a quiet 40 to 41 dB. So if you're running on battery, I'd probably stick to SmartSense. You're not missing out on a ton of performance, the fans will run less often and you'll just get better battery life. But if you do need that extra edge, performance mode's there for you if you need it. Now, not that I need to, but I wanna be perfectly clear. This is not a gaming laptop. I mean, it's got integrated graphics, right? However, I have to admit, that new Intel XE is 
pretty impressive. Like just out of curiosity, I fired up Overwatch, set it to medium graphics with the display's native resolution, and I was getting like 60, 65 FPS. Was there any screen tearing? Surprisingly, no. Yes, of course there was screen tearing, but the point is you can actually do some light gaming and it's not a terrible experience. And finally, we're looking at a 66 watt hour battery with a claimed life of up to 11 hours with mixed usage. Now, during my testing, I got just over nine hours and 40 minutes with the display set to 70% brightness, uh, Windows balance mode enabled, and Smart Sense selected in the HP Command Center. Uh, my guess is that claimed 11 hours were probably tested with screen brightness set to 50% or just below, so I'm still really happy with my results. Look, it's a really, really nice laptop, man, and based on its intended uses and size, I don't think I have any real complaints or reasons not to recommend it. I mean, the display is killer, the speakers are fantastic, battery life's great, it's a good performer, and it games, asterisk. Anyways, I'll drop a link for you in the description below where you can find out more details and all the Black Friday sales over at the HP store. But I think that does it for this one. If you liked the video, maybe show me some love with that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.